there's other boxers that you guys had who made a move away from you guys, though it might have not been voluntarily. Um, we do notice a pattern here. Boxing fans notice that, you know, a lot of Espinosa, all of them, basically left, started out with um, Raul and Joselito, Freddie Roach, and then we had uh, Oscar Valdez, and then we also had Jesse Magdaleno, who you guys helped make um, world champions. And now they're somewhere else. Is there any comment to that? I mean, like I said, I mean, I'm not going to sit here and, and badge anybody, but uh, obviously if they, f if they felt they made the right move, you know, like I said, I mean, we're... We're, we're, we're the type of trainers that we're not going to sit here and cry about, you know, who left, who didn't. I mean, fighters go, fighters come back. Obviously, you know, it, it was a big surprise. And obviously it has nothing to do with the boxers. It obviously had to do with, you know, I mean, other people that thought that, uh, that you know, they had to make a move. And, I mean, it is what it is. So judging on that, we've seen Oscar Valdez's uh, two performances. He's gotten the victories. But a lot of people say that he's lost his uh, warrior. Well, not lost, but maybe it's being held back because they're trying to turn him a little bit more defensive, which maybe he did a little bit more, need a little bit more defense. But he's not the same warrior in the ring we're used to seeing. Do you agree? Do you think that he's turning a little bit more on the defensive side and losing his style in the process? I'm going to have no comment on that. I have nothing but respect for Oscar Valdez and a lot of love for, for Valdez. And, I mean, he knows what he's doing. And, uh, obviously, you know, he's been winning. And, uh, you know, I, asked, I, I wish him nothing but success and love, man.